guys and welcome back to another video of ECK Sports and today as you can see we have the NFL playoff bracket. I've been making a lot of videos as, as of recently. That's because there's been a lot going on with the MLB stuff. Last NFL play uh, my last NBA playoff predictions video. All kinds of stuff like that. But uh, yeah, uh, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I just say we get right into it. Pretty much. Let, let's just start with the Steelers Browns game. Um, now the Steelers are the higher seeds. They were 11 and 0 at one point. I do think that they have slowed down as of late. Browns have Miles Garrett, who is one of the best pass rushers. Not well, he's he's up there for one of the best edge rushers, if not the best edge rusher. I, I would say Aaron Donald is better, but he's right up there with you know TJ Watt um as probably the best pass rusher. He's really good. Denzel Ward is really good in the secondary. Brown's offense is complete. I think they're beating the steel. Next you have the Ravens Titans game. Now this one is interesting because the Titans defense is really bad, but Derrick Henry is the is is a lot of the offense. You could even say the entire offense, but AJ Brown and Corey Davis are really good players too. You cannot forget that. The Ravens, you know, they have their run a game with Lamar. Well, Lamar just hasn't been good this year. And I think that, you know, with everything, like Lamar even said, we feel like teams are like knowing what plays we're going to run. But even then, I'm still going to pick the Ravens because I do think that this is going to be a high scoring game for sure. I do think though that Derrick Henry, Corey Davis, and AJ Brown will win. Our next one is the Rams and the Seahawks. Now, this one is a hot take. If Jared Goff is playing, I think the Rams win. The Rams are the top defense this year. The Seahawks defense is really bad. Yes, the Seahawks have Russell Wilson, but he's really struggled with turnovers in, like, you know, the past like 10 or so games. Like, really after the first half of the season, he was struggling with turnovers. He's thrown, a, he's done a lot worse than he did in the beginning of the year. That's why I'm picking the Rams. Jared Goff is not the best quarterback. You can still win with him. Really good receivers with Robert Woods and Cooper Cup, and tight ends with Gerald uh, Everett and Tyler Higby. I think that the winner of this game is the Rams. Buccaneers and Washington football team. Now, some people are predicting an upset, but this is the easiest game, and I think the Buccaneers win. There's no way that Tom Brady loses this game. We all know Tom Brady. I mean, we know what he's known for. He's an awesome quarterback, and there's no denying that he can easily win this game. Next game, I'm not even I'm not even gonna think about it. The Saints are so much better than the Bears. The Bears are really bad. They're, honestly, they kind of are. You know, their defense is okay. Their offense is non-existent. Allen Robinson wants to go. That's it. That, it's it for the Bears. They're going to score like 10 points. The Saints are going to drop like 35. It's going to be a fun game to watch. The Saints just destroy the Bears. Next, we have the Rams and the Packers. I'm picking the Packers here the, uh, just because it's Aaron Rodgers. And I feel like Aaron Rodgers can do well. I trust Aaron Rodgers more than Russell Wilson at this point. I, I think Russell Wilson, well, no. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is... A slightly better quarterback if you asked me 10 weeks ago i would have said russ or even eight weeks ago but if you asked me up until like five weeks ago or four weeks ago then my opinion would have changed to a rod um it's close though um the packers defense is much better than the seahawks the rams running game isn't as good i jair alexander is a very good corner as well as kevin king and uh you know adrian amos they have a good pass rush up front with the Smith Bros. And, you know, there's Kenny Clark too. So that's why I'm going to take the pack. The Saints and the Buccaneers. Drew Brees against Tom Brady. I'm taking Drew Brees. The Saints defense was better than the Buccaneers this year. Even though the Buccaneers have a more complete defense. Because this is Drew Brees last season, I think he's going to come out and he's going to play like an MVP. He's going to go out there and give it his heart. And that's why I have them win it. I totally forgot about this side. I have the Bills win it. Now, this is close. This game will be closer than people will think, in my opinion. I think the Colts are a really good team. They have a really good defense. Um, you know, got to watch out for the good defense teams. Like the football team, they have a good defense. The Rams, good defense, great defense, you know, stuff like that. The Bills, uh, I think Josh Allen's going to have a really, I, he, he might get slowed down. We know who playoff Josh Allen is, even though he has improved. I think the pressure will get to him, but overall, I think the Bills defense will hold up and I think that they will win. All right, we will go to the Browns versus Chiefs. Um, I'm gonna take the Chiefs here. And that's because I trust Patrick Mahomes in this spot. I trust him to go out there and play some NFL football. He's gonna go out there. He's gonna throw for 300 yards and three touchdowns. 
Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey will have monster games. The Chiefs defense steps up in the playoffs as always. The Chiefs don't have the best defense, but they're a lot better of a defense in the playoffs. So I think the Chiefs take that win. I don't know why. All right. Next, we have the Ravens Bills. And this one's super easy, the Bills. I think Josh Allen's going to throw all over them. Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters are good corners. Marcus Peters may not even be playing in this game. I think he might be injured. Devin Singletary and Zach Moss, I see, having good games. Yannick Ngakwe and Matt Judon might get to the quarterback. Sorry I have the one and two seeds in both conferences, but overall, I think Josh Allen will, after having a rough game against the Colts, will bounce back against the Ravens and do really well. All right, moving on to the NFC side of things, I think the Saints are going to win. I think Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, they're both going to come in. Like, we've seen this matchup a lot of times. I think... Drew Brees is going to win. I think it's going to be a really, really high scoring game. I'm saying maybe like 45 to 42. It's going to be close. But overall, the Saints will score a ton of points. So will the Packers. And the Saints defense will hold up. They have March on Lattimore. They have Marcus Williams. They have the secondary. They have the pass rush. The run stopping is questionable. Aaron Jones might be a factor. But I think that... You know, you Aaron Rodgers, you know, again, I think all these guys will have good game. It will be an offensive game. But I think the Saints score a little more points than the Packers do. On the other side, honestly, I'm tempted to pick the Bills here. I think Stephon Diggs is going to have a huge game. And then you do have Tredavious White against Patrick Mahomes. I do think, though, the Chiefs pull this one out. Um, But I, I, I'm so tempted to pick the Bills. Am I, though? Let, let me think about it a little more. I think, should I go with the hot take? You know what? I'm going with the hot take. The Bills are going to win. I'll tell you why. As great as Patrick Mahomes is, as great as Travis Kelsey and Tyree Kill are, we've seen how great the Bills' defense can be. Matt Milano, Tremaine Edmonds, yes, their front seven isn't very good, but the Chiefs don't have a great offensive line. And while Clyde Edwards-Alaire might be a factor, there still is Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano to go get, to go you know, guard him out of the passing game and stop him from, from getting many yards uh, in the run game. Ed Oliver is still really good. The Bills have a good run stuffing unit. They're not the greatest pass pushing unit, but the Chiefs don't have the greatest offensive line. I think Mitchell Schwartz might be injured. Patrick Mahomes is awesome. Tyreek Hill is awesome. Again, Tredavious White is a very good corner. And if they get beat, you know, you still have that stacked secondary Jordan Poyer. You know, Miko Hardman and Sammy Watkins might be a factor, um, uh, and also Micah Hyde. I think the Bills just squeeze this one out. I think Josh Allen has a monster game against this low-average Chiefs defense. I mean, maybe average defense. I think the Bills go out there and win this one. In the Super Bowl, Saints versus Bills, Drew Brees in his last NFL game, he's going to win it, his second Super Bowl. It will be the most amazing moment ever, and I feel like this Super Bowl will have been, like, just... A great, like great, like the whole season hasn't been a waste. Like I feel like if if the, I don't know if the Bears won, I feel like this whole season is a waste. You know, they're not gonna win, or maybe, but I don't think so. But yeah, uh, that's my predictions. Uh, I think that Drew Brees comes out there. I think Josh Allen. I think that's where again, similar to the Colts game, I think the pressure is gonna get to him, and I think. You know, Drew Brees has been here before and he's gonna do it again. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.